Greetings mortals, my name is Speedrunner Fuchs Wolf. First name Speedrunner, last name Fuchs Wolf. And welcome to another episode of The Desolate Hope. We still have a lot of work to do. But there's a new thing we can look for. Batteries. So if any of you remember that FNAF uh, animation that had Balloon Boy going sweet, succulent, double-A batteries. That's kind of what we're going to be doing today, but it's more like giant power cell of double-A's, so that's going to be fun today. Um, I'm not sure what the frequency of those are, but I think it's less than the money canisters we can bump into, so. Cross fingers, hope, pray. Also want to thank anybody who has um, at any point subscribed, liked, or commented on any one of my videos. I thank you so much for doing so. It means a lot to me and it also allows uh, me to have somebody... In, well, it allows me to know that there's somebody who's interested in what I do and it makes me happy. If you're smiling because you like my content, then I'm smiling because I know you're smiling. That's basically why I do this. So, let's go back into Mirad more and see what we can do. We might need to go back and, well, fight. Because I don't think we're near stuff. Let's see what old Coffee Bot will do. Uh. I've located the last item under attack, but I can't make it appear for you. Okay. Uh, yeah, I need to find... Ooh, no. Okay. Let's see if they're down here. This is a safe area, though, so... Well, safe, I thought. I think we need like 2,000, but if I can at least find the dang dude, I'll be able to identify- oh! I think I might have found a bot. Don't know if I'm going in the right way. We have limited time on this day, so... Nope. Wrong dude, but he's got something fancy by him. So... Let's see. What is going up to? Ooh! I, I feel bad for the ones that drown, so... Ooh! What is this? Okay. Uh... Let's see. Ooh. An area I can bash? What's all over here? Did I just find the dang thing we need? No. But Okay, everybody, make notes of this, because we're going to want to come back right now. We're basically broke, so... Uh, let's see what we can do here. Up we go. Emergency? No. Rats. Emergency? No. Rats. Okay. No, um... Movable walls. Okay, let's see if we can bash this one. This is actually kind of... Well... Dull. Emergency? Come on, there's gotta be something here. Ooh. 
Nice. Hi. Digital muffin. Weapon power. Up. Cabbage power. Well, I found somebody useful in here. I don't know what cabbage power or digital muffin means. But. Somebody's useful. Nope, can't go through here. Uh. Ooh. So, let's see. Behind door number two. Emergency? Come on. I'm just a coffee pot with legs. I want something to happen. Ah, here we go. Now, let's see. Let's see what I can do. Is there something going on over here? Can I walk through here? Nope. Up here? Nope. Well, this is a maze, and I will tell you this. I hate mazes. It's not something I like, and it's not something I'm going to ever like. So it's up here. Emergency? Walk out the door? Ooh. But we can come right back to it. We have time. And it's not permadeath, if I'm correct here. So. Uh, right, back we go. Door number one. Anything else I can buy? Nope. Okie dokie. Is there anything else I can do with EA? No? Crap. Good old fox fur and no fox. Ooh. Nice. Okay. Let's see what going, uh... Can we go left? Nope. But up, maybe? Ooh! This you! Okay, that's anticlimactic. Ooh! Eh. Okay. Is there door number two? No. Shame. We found door number one. Now, where's door number two? Is door number two over here? Eh. Okay. Ooh! More months for us! Okay. These little guys have very useful to hit, so. Let's get rid of you first. Yeah. Oops. They got horns. And I don't want to die stupidly. I'm not taking a jetpack because some alien man with horns decides it's a fun idea to just say, hey, take your new jetpack and go fly. <laughs> To the portal and immediately die because you can't battle everything. I'm not doing that. So, store number two over here. Uh, too much issue. 
success, I will say. We don't need to complete that part of the sim, but if we do, that should give us bonus, but not mandatory and we're wasting time, so I say we go back and try to find where Unam actually is. And see if we can... Uh, well, actually get crap the power up we need. Um, we're just gonna go right back in. We've got time, I'm not too concerned. I say that as we have limited battery, but as of right now, we don't need to get panicky. I don't need panic after I just work done studying for a bit, so that's that's gonna be its own little issue. So let's try hole number two. Yeah, yeah. But we don't have much cash, so. Ooh. What are you? Are you where Unam is? Because I might need to go there. Let's see. Okay. Floaty float. Okay. Here we go. Ooh, there you are. Yeah, we broke, basically. It's not cheating if you paid good money for it. That's what you can say about a lot of things. Excuse me. Uh, let's see, what else we can bash? For good cash. Okay, so, down we go. Anything that we can bash to get good cash would be most appreciated. You, my friend, might be good for good cash. I hate how when you shoot them they get inverted. Cause that's kinda creepy. But this is probably the next best thing to a horror game you can get if you aren't that interested in, well, horror. Or you can't handle horror. So, what's going on in door number two? Oh yeah, this. This thing. Might as well go grind for more cash. Because we don't have anywhere near enough. We need at least approximately 1100 more. Because I don't have the ones here. It's a safe zone. Don't think we're going to be. Actually, maybe? Hey, digital muffin. But it's like 10, so I'm not too worried. But I think there's one of the things to hit. Okay, so. Now we just need to find door number three without losing too much health. Because I would hate to have to die again. Okay. These things have horns on the side, so they're the freaking heads. I don't want to get too close. Oh, wait. See? I got too close, and I paid for it. They're like, I 
like mega turret. So they're bad. Okay, door number two. Door number two. We got plenty of daylight. News for now. Good God, it's Hylia. This sure is fun, but we're getting somewhere. Actually, I want to go down. So. Get a traditional muffin, please. That was an idiot. Please. Let me not be an idiot. I should actually probably go back to this dude. So. Okay. Come on, come on. Move over here. Okay. Okay, why are you down on? Close to where I can shoot without getting hurt. Now you're getting another digital muffin. Come on, please. I have plenty to spare. I can handle this. a trend. Um, Malin's was very sharp-edged. A lot of stuff had corners on his little variation of this. But in game, but for M Mirad, there's a lot of rounded shapes. And she even gets a shop. So. That's nice. Please, no emergency. I want to go right to Okay. There we go. Uh. I want to get straight to them as much health as possible. 
This is gonna be tough. Shoot! And we're so close! We just need like four, I mean like 329 more chips. Anything will do. Anything. Okay. Uh, guess we'll have to just go to some swimming. Okay. Let's go down. And whoa, we ended up here. Okay. Let's see. Smash that, smash that. Shoot. Okay, dokey. How much time do we have left? I just actually also want to see how far along we are, how far along we can be. Can I actually start yours? No? I guess I need to complete the other two first. You're taking up a butt ton of power. You know that? I have no idea why there's so much allocated power to you. Ooh. I... I'm not in ch up for this. Beta grid? Okay. This just screams creepy to me. Because he's trying to recreate humans. I have a suspicion that the virus is next target. Speak well, Beta. That'll give, you, give me an opportunity. And give me an opening so I can flag it for you. Okay. Interesting. He's got nice music, I will admit, but he makes me uncomfortable because this is not like Full Metal Alchemist where you put machine to metal. No, this is more like sci-fi. We're creating a machine from scratch kind of creep. I don't like in a human from scratch, and I don't like that. At all. So. Let's see what I can pick up. Uh. Yes, of course. We need to make her strong. She's actually one of the weaker individuals. Did. Well, I tried to make her be useful, but she was not as useful. She's a great healer, though. So, it'll be interesting, I will admit. Uh, let's see. Step off here. Ooh, 11. Let's get them all up to 12, because I think that's where Mirad's at. Over here. Ah, a painting for my collection. A better portrait of humanity than a vision of their minds and hearts. I'll dedicate more resources to your efforts. Yeah, she's at six. And did you see Alphys? Eleven! And that was just after giving them items! Okay, system status. Eight days left. 
good gracious. But like, look, look at the energy distribution. What's going on in the Theta simulation? That even though it was, it had ended, it's still taking up power. It's like having your computer running all throughout the night when you don't need to. So if you're under good white like power bill up and you have your computer running all night, that's why. That's kind of the situation. I hope we find a battery or some money. A clock. Sure, what the heck. Let's see. Uh, Ooh, please be battery. It might be feel better if we had battery. A globe is better than nothing. Uh, what's funny is that its name seems to be driven from infinite, which is strange because there's not infinite power here. Uh, actually, I should probably have just gone over here. Okay. Go back. I really do love the art style. It almost gives me a claymation animated style. Uh, we don't need any more snow globes for you. Not now, at least, I don't think. It might not hurt, but I don't... I'm not a priority anymore. Let's just go back outside and get money. Money, 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 money. Or battery. A battery would make me feel better. Battery would make me feel way better. Uh, I need good luck for this. Knock on wood. Let's see. I'll take it. Uh, no. Let's get something else. Sure. It's either the Lun Infinite is either based on the name, the word infinite or finite. I hope it's not the latter. Okay, now we gotta get them all up to 13. Great. Okay. Uh, let's see. More stuff. Stuff. More stuff. But not enough height to... Ooh! X to shoot! Okay... Oh, good old space invaders. Did you get your extra cash. All the way to <laughs> almost, almost. Uh, we found Unam, so at least we know where Unam is. But we don't have enough cash, oh, I don't think. And I don't want to see what abominations are over here. In Beta Grid 09. Uh, this, this makes me uncomfortable. So. On the one hand, we get the Iron Giant with the likes. But on the second hand, we get. They look like humans, but they aren't. Welcome to the future of mankind. It's a work in progress, but I think it's undeniable that this is the next course of human evolution. 
I see it there that this my message is your simulations on the possibilities of future human development on this desert planet. Well, time changes everything, doesn't it? We don't we haven't heard from Earth in decades. We don't know their status or location. It's my theory they have been killed somehow, no doubt by their own devices. Therefore, my fear and my focus shifted from a um, and shifted out from how to bring humans here to how to recreate a new and certainly improved human race. Someone on the station needs to be realistic. I began work with developing biological specimens, but I was able to grow organic material. However, I was never able to master a developed mind. I'm not entirely blameless. One of the biological samples is missing. You see, when the station was first created, Earth supplemented our studies with science pods. This came on a regular basis, supplying materials for analyzation and induction to our simulations. Many were poor, of poor quality, having been used for other purposes first. Then suddenly, one day, these science pods stopped. For several months, we heard nothing from Earth. Then the other pods started arriving. Pods full of photographs, artwork, toys, and books began littering the landscape. None of it was useful to our research. I don't understand what humans expected us to do with it. From the samples they sent over, one is unaccounted for. It arrived and was scanned into the database, but then went missing. I'm sure you'll do everything you can to find the missing sample for us. I know you are on our side. Find sample 217 before it's too late. Well, we have a number. It is 217. So, the virus is certainly here. It's attacking an object on the far side of the simulation. Try to find the second vertical corridor, then check the upper rooms. Okay. Interesting. This, this should be interesting. But I can't jump too high. And some of these things that we can interact with aren't, um, enemies. So... Let's see. Oh. Okay. So now I see. Ooh. Interesting. I don't think I want to go in there yet, so I'm just going to put me out. Let me throw these. Oh gosh, how I hate mazes. These don't do mazes. more stuff to do over here, but I want to be over here. Let's go up. Nope. Okay. Around. Ooh. This is a hack chip. Once you've learned the hacking skill, these can be very useful in battle. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Oop. 
Okay. Well, that was undeniably stupid. Let's go back in, see if we can find that corridor. And do some magic, or at least get somewhere. <sighs> Wait, now I'll take a look at my timer. That'll be the end of today's episode of The Desolate Hope. In the um, description below, there is a link to my Etsy channel. Please. I have ad I've added some new things to the custom art listing. You can now get uh, thumbnails and banners for your YouTube channel mate. I'm not super great at doing thumbnails and banners, but I will do the basic bare minimum. If you want your face slapped on top of an image, and you want it cut out from a pre-existing photo, I can probably do that. I can probably add some fancy colors, maybe a border to a part of an image. That's probably about the best I can do for thumbnails, but for banners, I can't do from scratch, but I can certainly do a logo collage, where I have like, your icon, and then have the logos of a bunch of games you play tiled around it. I can do that. But if you want that, there's a link in the description to my Etsy shop where you can acquire any art commissions you want. For a fee, of course. Um, and that's enough for my self-promotion for my own art. Uh, but if you do get the art, that'll help me get better equipment and better software and better games. And newer games, too. Now, today's card of the day is the level 3 light monster, light spellcaster effect monster. With zero attack and 800 defense. Galaxy Mirror Sage. Flip. You gain 500 life points for each galaxy monster in your graveyard. When this card is destroyed and sent from the field to the graveyard, after being flipped face up, you can special summon one level 4 or lower galaxy monster from your deck or graveyard in face down defense position. Banish it when it leaves the field. You are undeniably useful to your friends and companions, but you come with a catch. Only the wor those who know you well know that catch, but treat them well nonetheless. Sayonara, au revoir, adibadachi, au revoir, zen. 